welcome. I'm so excited for today's video. Um, today I'm going to be talking you through 21 books that I can't wait to be released in 2021. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. The first book I'm so excited about, and this is the only book that's like a book that's a sequel in this list, um, and that is Crescent City 2. I can't wait. Crescent City, the first one, is like my new favourite book. Absolutely loved it. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit scared because of some of the like theories that have come out and I don't really want them to come true um but yeah so I'm excited for that and that is meant to be released on the 2nd of November so fingers crossed it goes through the second book I can't wait to be released is called The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp this one I like it sounds awesome it's kind of a YA thriller it feels like it would be kind of funny from the synopsis basically it's about a girl <coughs> who is raised by a con artist and she's kind of grown up like knowing how to trick men and stuff but for the last few years she's been playing it normal and living like a pretty simple life until three things happen one her ex-boyfriend walks in on her kissing her girlfriend and no one knew two the next day they all have to meet up to take money for a fundraiser to the bank and three people start robbing the bank while they're there so Obviously the bank robbers don't know who they've got in there, someone who's literally been raised by a criminal. So it sounds like it's going to be fun and like exciting. That's being released on the 26th of January. The third book I'm really excited about is called The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. Um, this is the first book in the Burning Kingdom series and it's basically a story that's kind of fed off of like history from India and mythology from India, which would be really interesting. It follows one girl who is the princess but she's being held captive by her dictator brother in like a temple which is you know whoa and the second character who like are the main characters is this maidservant who is in possession of forbidden magic nobody knows about it and she comes up and is helping like clean the tower that she's has the, the temple that the princess is kept in and one day the princess sees her forbidden magic and their lives become entwined. The Jasmine Throne is being released on the 10th of June. The fourth book I'm excited to be released is Ace of Spades by Farida um, Abike Yimide. I'm pro I probably butchered it. It's a beautiful name but I'm really sorry so it'll be written like down below so that you can actually read it for yourselves. Um, this I'm really excited for. It sounds like a fun kind of YA school like, I don't know, just like kind of angsty school book. I don't know, it's probably a weird way to put it. It's coming out also on the 10th of June and it follows a school where everyone's perfect supposedly, everyone like money buys you power, that type of thing. It's a private school until a guy, an anonymous texter called Ace, starts releasing the secrets of two of their students and they're one of them's the head girl and the other one's like a star band player or something so it all sounds like it's going to be quite like angsty and stuff there's obviously more in the description but I'm trying to keep the synopses short and sweet next book is concrete rose by angie thomas now this is you've probably there's a very famous book before it called um the hate you give and that was released a couple of years ago it was film made um, I really want to read it but Concrete Rose is coming out this year and this is kind of a prequel um, but I don't as far as I know it's not like directly entwined with the Hate You Give characters but it's basically a story set in the 90s um, following kind of black boyhood and manhood and what it means in this society of institutionalized racism. It follows a man who knows that family is like or well, believes that family is most important and that he has to provide for them and that's his duty but the only way he can see to do that is to be a dealer um i'm excited for it i think it will be beautiful especially from the stuff i've heard from the hate you give um i think it will also be heartbreaking but very important story and that is coming out on the 12th of january number six this book is called the mirror season and it's coming out the 16th of march um this trigger warning for um sexual assault this is like the main theme from the book it's the first thing you see when you read the synopsis so if that's not something that you know you can handle at the moment or is something that's triggering for you 
then please like skip ahead in the video. It follows a world where two kids, one of them um, is called Graciela Cristales and a boy called Locke and they are both at the same party and both of them are sexually assaulted um, but there is like Locke doesn't know that she was uh, that Chris, uh, Graciela was assaulted at the same party um, it seems to be a story about healing um, bonds being formed through you know healing and tragic circumstances um, there's a forest that is magical and um, it's kind of it follow it seems to be like a bit of a mystery as well to follow like who find out who it was who did this awful thing to them and um, like with the magical element as well I think it should be really good um, <clears throat> and that is coming out on the 16th of March so I think I already said that number seven this one I'm really excited for this is called The Echo Wife and I think it's an adult book I'm pretty sure um, it's coming out on the 16th of February and it's written by Sarah Gailey oh sorry the mirror season was written by Anna Marie McCle uh, McClemore really bad with the book names it's an adult kind of thriller suspense like mystery uh, love love that genre and basically it follows a scientist who she has cloned like the perfect wife gen genetically cloned um, she is obedient patient kind but beneath it all she's also having an affair with her creator's husband so yeah there's that apparently it's perfect for people who like Big Little Lies and um, Killing Eve which I love both so I can't wait number eight is If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Cowell uh, big warning again for sexual assault for this book so please skip ahead um, this story is written in prose, poetry and illustration so it's kind of a multi-format book um, it follows two timelines one following a teenage Quran and later following high school, her high school aged daughter Sahara um, it's kind of following the story of in the past her mother um, Karan being sexually assaulted and becoming pregnant with Sahara and being kind of banished by her family um, and then present day her telling Sahara about her conception and that is coming out on the 19th of January number nine the ones we're meant to find by Joanne He and um, that's coming out on the 4th of May okay, this book follows C who woke up on an abandoned island three years ago, no idea how she got there. There's a shack there that she doesn't know who built it, that she lives in, an android that she doesn't know where it came from, but is there with her. Um, and the only thing that she knows is that she has a sister somewhere and she's got to find her. It also follows um, a STEM prodigy, prodigy, Cassie. And she's living in this area of the world called the eco city and it's apparently the last unpolluted part of earth um so it's like definitely kind of dystopia sci-fi um and she has to decide whether to use science to save humanity when it has let down the people that matter the most to her number 10 if i disappear by eliza jean brazier and this is coming out on the 26th of january so this is kind of a big trope that has been included in quite a few books recently but i really was drawn to this one um the cover's stunning as well it follows a woman called sarah who is kind of obsessed with this podcast woman it's a true crime podcast um and the woman rachel one day goes missing and sarah takes it upon herself to follow the trail that she left behind in her podcasts and to try and find rachel um she turns up at this ranch in the like outbacks of north uh, northern california following the trail to find rachel might be the most dangerous decision she's ever made number 11 paris is a party paris is a ghost by david um hoon kim and this is coming out on the 3rd of august i'm really interested by this book it seems um like it's quite a kind of disjointed um surrealist book which i love it follows a man who he's kind of haunted by the ghost of a woman he loved when she it's not really clear if she died or disappeared or just left 
um, but she left a trail behind of an open packet of cigarettes and food and those images have haunted him and it's about his time in, in the city of Paris and being haunted by the memories of um, his lover and um, of Fumiko's ghost. It's said to be darkly comic, disorientating and disarming. The twelfth book on my list is The Lost Village by Camilla Sten. This is coming out on the 23rd of March. Um, this is definitely a thriller kind of horror I think. It says that it's meant for people who like The Blair Witch Project and Midsommar, which are definitely, at least in my books, horror films. Um, and it follows kind of a legend in, I think it's set in England, I'm pretty sure. It follows Alice, a documentary filmmaker who has been obsessed with the lost village. And it was this phenomenon that, phenomena, <laughs> that um, in the 1950s, loads of people just disappeared from this mining town. No one knew where they went and no one knew what happened to them. But the reason that she's so obsessed with it is because her grandmother's family were amongst the people who just disappeared. That sounds like it could be thrilling and I might shit myself reading it. Book number 13, The Comfort of Monsters by Willa C. Richards. And this is coming out on the 13th of July. Um, this story sounds like it could be very harrowing. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of murder at the centre of it, a lot of tragedy. It's set during the Dharma Summer, which is, you know, if you know anything about Jeffrey Dharma, who was a very prolific serial killer, um, known for particularly killing men. And in this summer, in the 90s, um, a woman's sister disappears and she's kind of left to pick up the pieces and to try and figure out what happened. But because there is such, there's this chain of horrible murders going on, one girl's disappearance is kind of overlooked. It's about her and her family trying to reconcile with what happened and trying to figure out what happened to her sister. Number 14 is The Ivies by Alexa Don. This is coming out on the 25th of May. This sounds like a classic kind of YA um, prep school book, which I kind of love that setting. It follows five girls who are desperate to get into the Ivy schools in America and they're called The Ivies, you know, obviously. Um, and it's kind of the classic thing of they'll do anything to get in, you know, maybe even murder. So I think that will be interesting and it could just be a fun read. Number 15 is Instinct by Jason M. Hall. Um, this is coming out on the 6th of April, set in a small town in America of only 602 people. Um, there's a town full of conspiracy theories and like mysteries and a new police officer in the town and three things that can't be explained. One, a kid who hates nature is found out on some unexplained walk dead. Two, a hiker is found mauled by a bear but smiling serenely. Three, a mother who is known to be a helicopter parent disappears abandoning her two twins. It sounds very interesting, it sounds very mysterious and like very fresh ideas. Number 15, uh, number 16, Find Me by Alifair Burke, and this is coming out on the 3rd of August. The whole basing for the story is a woman disappears and it leaves her friend and an NYPD officer desperately looking to figure out what happened to her. But there's more to her past than meets the eye, and this friend has known her through a lot of hard times. Specifically, this woman 14 years ago was found fallen out of the back of an overturned truck with no memory of who she was, what had happened, or anything. And her friend had found her then. Um, they had formed a bond and she helped her like start a fresh life in the city. And her friend knows that just before her disappearance this time, she'd left to go and start over again, and then she vanished. Back to the fantasy books. This one is Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long, and this is coming out on the 19th of January. So this is an epic fantasy with warrior priestesses and gods who are at war. So, definitely up my street. Follows Hessa, a warrior priestess who has the power to shatter her enemy's bones with one scream. She is a devoted uh, worshipper and priestess to the god of war. Um, until she does something wrong in which the goddess of war disowns her. 18, Rise of the Red Hand, and this is the first book in the Mechanist series. Um, this is by Olivia Chada, and this is coming out on the 19th of January as well. Yeah, so they're both coming out on the 19th of January. 
It's set in a futuristic South, uh, South Asia where climate change has kind of destroyed South Asia and upturned the way that it worked before. It follows a street rat turned revolutionary, a boy who is a hacker and the son of a politician and their journey to try and demolish a government that just kind of puts their poorest at risk just to better themselves. Number 19, we're getting there. Um, this is A Trial of Sorcerers by Elise Kova and this is coming out on the 4th of March. All I'm going to tell you is it follows a 17 year old sorceress who lives in the shadow of her older brother, of the powers that nobody wants and of the person she accidentally killed. But there is a magical tournament in it which is the thing I'm most excited about. Number 20 is Son of the Storm, uh, the first in the Nameless Republic series and this is by Sui Davis um, Akungbawa. Sorry, terrible pronunciation, I know. And this is coming out on the 11th of May. This follows Danso, who is a clever, disillusioned scholar who longs for a life beyond what his society has set out for someone who is an elite to be kind of bound down by family um, obligations and marriage. And his life turns upside down when Li Long, a skin changing warrior, comes into his barn injured and she is from a place that his people have told him never existed. Number 21 is Some Girls Do by Jennifer D Dugan. <laughs> um, this is coming out on the 18th of May. Um, this follows, I think it's the uh, best way to describe it is a YA contemporary. It follows one girl who is openly gay and she is a track field runner and she falls in love with a closeted bi beauty queen who likes to fix up cars in her spare time. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be heartfelt, but also an interesting look at like what it means to truly like, I don't know, embrace yourself. Yes, so that's my list. I'm sorry if I'm a bit lackluster today. I'm quite tired, but um, I'm really excited about these books and I hope that you guys found something you liked. Um, yeah, down below there'll be a list of all the books and links to the books and the author's names and stuff so that you can tell me how to actually pronounce them if you want to um, and there will also be links to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, not that I really use it, and my Goodreads if you want to. Um, yeah make sure if you liked this to like the video and subscribe if you want to, I've got lots of exciting stuff coming. But yeah thank you for watching and I hope you all had a great holiday season and I hope you look forward to New Year's. Bye!